I guess that uh, I'm finally ready <clears throat> to <clears throat> guess I'm finally ready to physically speak about what's happened. Um, on August 22nd, my oldest child, Chad, he was 39. He ended his life. I received a call at 8 p.m. My son called me at 5.09. Said, no, he texted, I love you, Mama. I called. He didn't answer. He called me back. We talked, and I said, why do you sound so sad, son? And he was quiet, and he said, just can't talk right now, Mama. I just thought maybe they were fighting. I didn't call back. I really regret that I didn't call back. He called me two days before. Talked a long time. There were several things really were weighing on his mind. He felt like the devil was after him. Anyway, so I've lost my oldest child. It's been a month. He left a wife and he left three children. It's, um, it seems like it, it, I mean, of course it has to be more real to me. It's been that long, but I feel like, I feel like, feel like this isn't really happening to me. But, I mean, I know that it is. So, that's what's been going on with me. I uh, lost a, a parent, a father, a year ago. And now I've lost my oldest child. I hope none of you ever have to feel that way. So, that's what's going on. That's all the post about Chad. That's my son. And that's what's going on in my life. So, if you want to send thoughts, I'm okay. You save your thoughts for his wife and his three children. My heart really hurts for them. I miss my son, but I worry about the children and his wife. Okay, well, I'm going to be over and out and pee baby loves.